have come out with 15 demands, minimum demands, very clear demands concerning the survival of black, brown, red, yellow people at San Francisco State. Demands that we felt were minimum and demands that we felt that with goodwill, with commitment, and with the possible readjustment of priorities to be met quite readily. Uh, the faculty had a meeting, and uh, as I related yesterday, uh, they discussed what could be done after uh, a large number of the faculty, in addition to the entire academic senate, went down uh, to the Board of Trustees meeting. And he went down there, and the Board of Trustees very simply said, uh, go fuck yourself. We don't like what you're doing down there. We don't like the fact that San Francisco State is always in disruption. We don't like the fact that San Francisco State tries to address itself to what's happening socially in the world and in, in uh, the United States and in San Francisco. And what we want is people who are going to be automaton, reflected, and they assimilated, and they talked and reflected until, until a woman got up and laid it on them very, very strongly and told it like it was. A woman. Much to my chagrin, I learned that no, it was not just 12 classes. There were many, many classes being held. Many, many classes being held. And so we brought it up right out front. We brought it up to President Smith right there. We said, President Smith, is this true? Uh, but, uh, but, uh, 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 due to the crystallization and due to uh, democratization and all that bullshit. And finally, President Smith got around to saying, yes, that is true. We said, President Smith, will you make a directive? Will you just merely send out a directive that no classes will be taught? And he said, no. It took him 20 minutes to do it, but he said no. <laughs> and I'm not saying these things again for you to clap, and I'm not saying these things again for you to laugh, because they aren't funny, really. Comedy is tragedy in disguise. And that's what we're dealing with. So what happened? What happened was we went on with it. We entertained one demand of the Black Student Union, uh, and then we tried to, to get to a demand of the uh, ICSA, and we had talked for so long we decided well, we'll delay it until tomorrow. Last night had a meeting, and uh, representatives of the Third World Liberation Front went over to that meeting. I was there, Roger was there, Tony was there, many, many brothers and sisters were there. And again, we rapped. We rapped very, very hard. We pleaded almost. 16 to 8 with one abstention that they would urge President Smith to close down all, all, uh, excuse me, all classes today, all classes today, that uh, the convocation would be a reality, the convocation would be constructive. That was the first part of the motion. The second part of the motion was that if any political ramifications occurred based upon his decision from the backing of the Academic Senate, that they, for the first time in probably the history of the United States, would back him to the hill. That's what they passed. And I thought that was nice. And so then they said, we're going to work like hell to convince President Smith that we do this. Apparently, uh, they tried to do that, and President Smith uh, decided not to do that. And so then what happened, uh, we had to go back up on that stage today, you know, with our heads bowed, because uh, basically what had happened was that the administration had made all of us look like fools. Could possibly happen constructive and creatively in reference to trying to readdress ourselves to the causes and to the reality of why people are in conflict. Because the administration didn't do their part. I just want to make that clear. And I hope those contradictions are very clear to everyone. They're very clear to me. And I hope they're very clear to other people because uh, this is a very, very important point.